Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I have something exciting I want to tell you about. I debated on whether I wanted to talk about it or not, but I decided I like to talk to you about things and tell you what's going on in my life, and I thought this would be a fun thing to share. So I had entered the um, Hourglass Immaculate Foundation contest, and they required that you send in a picture without makeup and one using their product or with makeup, basically. So I did that thinking, eh, you know, I'll never be picked for this. And I, I encourage the model I work with a lot, um, Angelina, to do the same. I'm not sure if she did or not, but um, I did give her the information. So some time went by, and I didn't think anything of it. And I got an email the day before last asking if I could do a Skype call today to, um, let me see what they said, <laughs> to see something about they've narrowed it down to a few people, and I am one of them, which is just crazy exciting. And um, I never win anything, or very rarely, so um, I'm not even thinking that I'm going to win. But okay, so it said they've narrowed down the search to a few candidates. And so I have a Skype call, 3.30 today. Very, very nervous and excited and thrilled. And I am going to do my face. So I really wanted to share with you what I'm going to use because I pulled out all of my favorite hourglass things and I just wanted to share with you what I was going to do today and um, and just you know let you know what's up. So I'm going to start as always with Veil Primer and I will say this and I'm not being anything less than completely honest with you and genuine. The biggest surprise and I haven't done that tag yet the 2012 tag. My biggest su surprise of 2012 hands down, is how much I love Hourglass. I've bought quite a few of their products this year. I am going to use the Boots Concealer under my eyes. I just like the creamy consistency a little better than my other one. Um, and this is my definitely my sort of breakthrough brand. I didn't use a lot of high, high-end things prior to this year. And Hourglass was something I tried because of Josh Collier, MUA, who's on here also. And I thought, mm, yeah, I don't really need another high-end product in my life, but I tried. It was the first thing I tried from them. I do believe it was actually the, well, the Veil Primer and the Immaculate Foundation. It looks like this, by the way. I have it in the color Shell. This is my second bottle of this. I love this in the summer, and I'll show you why. So, I'm going to get a brush out. This is the Sigma F84. And, and here's the product. I put it on a mirror like I do with most of my foundation. And then I just buff it in. And it has the most incredible scent. I feel like it feels like a day at the spa. I think there is kale and clay or something in it. It's kind of oil absorbing. And it leaves a nice matte finish. Probably don't need powder with this foundation, which is good. Um, so that's how that looks. This is really nice for oily skin, I think. Okay, so that's how that looks. I'm going to zoom this in a little more so you can see a little better what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to take the Hidden Concealer in the color Pearl. I like to put it on the back of my hand like that, like this, and then kind of warm it up with my finger a little bit and dab it on blemishes. This is, hands down, again, my favorite concealer. So, I've had that particular one since June, and it's still going strong. So yeah, this whole thing is very exciting. I um, My only fear is I won't know how to work Skype at the time. It's time to do the call. So we'll see, but I was on Twitter and there's another girl who is also going to be talking to them today. So I wish her the best as well. Okay, next I'm going to just sort of set that foundation with my NARS powder. Looks like this. And a big fluffy brush. This happens to be the Sigma synthetic brush. I'm just going to tap it. Okay. 
So I don't really want to use a ton of makeup today. So there's that. And then I'm going to use, hmm, I was going to use this today, but I kind of forgot. The Aura Blush. This is a really interesting product. I like to tap it on with a finger like this. And then you just sort of blend it. It looks like a bingo stamper. It's a fun product. I like this for brides because it lasts all day. It's good stuff. Okay. So there's the blush. And, <clears throat> excuse me, then I'm going to use some brow powder because I feel totally naked without my brows done. So yeah, I have no idea what this will be like. I'm really excited and it's going to be fun. But what an interesting experience it's been. Okay. By the way, I think I've talked about this a little bit. This is the brow brush from Real Techniques. This has really grown on me. It's quite a lot larger than the one I was using prior to this, which was hmm, the MAC, but it's similar to this one. See, it's quite a bit bigger. I really like it. I feel like you get your brows done quicker. Okay. Next, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little highlighter. This is the Kevin O'Quan highlighter in candlelight or candle lit. What is it? Candlelight. And some random brush I grabbed. <laughs> this is an Eco Tools brush. Okay, so that's how that looks. And then I'm going to use this palette. This is the Volume 6 Neo Classic palette. Looks like this. This is from Hourglass. It's very beautiful neutrals, basically. I'm going to start by using this cream color on the lids. If I can find a brush. Sorry. Not very prepared this morning. I'm very anxious. Okay, so I'm going to use this creamy color. This is a, I always forget, blending brush from Urban Decay. Okay, so that's the lids. Next I'm going to take a 217 and the brown color for the crease. I'm just going to do a real light application of this because it's pretty dark. <laughs> I hear my, my buddies in the hallway. It looks like that. These are very nice shadows, by the way, if you're looking for a new shadow palette, this is really good. Okay. Then I'm just going to take this brush, wipe it off on a towel. I'll show you what I'll do with that. But before I do that, I'm going to use the crease brush from Urban Decay and the white color in this palette right here. And just take that into the brow bone there. Okay. Then I'm going to take this brush again and the navy, because I am wearing a navy sweater. Kind of matchy-matchy, but I like it. And I'm just going to take that right into the V there. Just really lightly. Nothing crazy here. So that's how that looks. Next I'm going to take a pencil brush, a tiny pencil brush, and the brown color and go under the lower lash line just a little bit. Just like that. Oops, I'm just 
going to smudge that with my finger just a tad. Excuse me a sec. <laughs> my daughter is going with our neighbor to get lunch. So, okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to just take feline liner, line the upper lash line subtly. This is Feline Eye Coal from MAC. If you've watched my channel, it's a total staple. And I'm going to just sort of waterline just a little bit. So that's that. And then I'm going to use L'Oreal Voluminous. Well, at first I'm going to use a setting spray today because I have things to do and I don't want to have to redo my face. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'll just let that dry a little. Use L'Oreal Voluminous. Mascara face. Okay. Okay. I love this mascara, it's so nice. Okay. And then for lips, I am going to be using, this is one of my very favorite lipsticks. This is an Hourglass product. Fable is the color, and it's a nude. I've used quite a lot of it. It's really, really nice. It's just a nice pink tone nude. It kind of, I'm not sure. The way these feel though is super moisturizing. I love it. And I'm gonna top it with a favorite. I use all summer. This is the Origami Lip Gloss. And I love it. It's a warm tone pink. So that is the look of the day for the activities of the day. I'm very excited about everything and I wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, thank you as always for being so supportive. You're the best. I feel like I have the most amazing subscribers on YouTube and I'm really grateful for that. I really mean that sincerely. Um, I'll let you know what happens today and I hope that this was a fun video for you. It was fun for me to make. I love Hourglass products. But if you had to pick one thing, one thing from them, and that's all you could do, gotta have this. This is the most amazing product. I think my 2012 winner of the entire year is this Veil Primer, Veil Mineral Primer, oil-free SPF 15. This is incredible. And like I've said before in other videos, this makes every foundation look better. So. Definitely invest in that. It isn't a little bit of investment, but it's totally worth it. So have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.